Well, if there was a roof on this state-of-the-art facility, it would have already been blown off by the American women denying the Jamaicans the gold in their 4 by one What noise will we witness now? There was a long hold. And now an explosion of energy on the track and in the stands. What a leg by Christian Coleman. Pulling away from the Jamaicans. It wasn't a perfect changeover. I tell you what, Jerome Blake is running well on that second leg. Really good changeover again by the Canadians. The Jamaicans are miles down at the moment. Paul to Bracey. And the Canadians are holding them to grass. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Gold to Canada. And after what a difficult season it's been for De Grasse, he tastes gold in the 4x1, just as he did over the 200 metres last year in Tokyo. It was not to be the double for the Americans. Coleman got out brilliantly for them at the beginning, but a series of crisp changeovers for the Canadians. In short, it is a North American nation on top of the podium, but it's not the hosts. It's their northerly neighbours, and somehow, after an awful year of injury and illness with COVID, De Grasse comes out on top for Canada once more. Canada take the gold, USA silver, Great Britain and Northern Ireland the bronze, the Jamaicans this time finish fourth. It's almost over, but not quite. See you tomorrow for one outside for Estonia in eight. Keep your eye on lane seven. Owens Delerme will push the pace. Fastest personal best and seasonal best in the field. Well, you heard it there from Dan O'Brien, the former world and Olympic champion. Watch for Owens Delerme, who tied Ashton Eaton's NCAA record, and he's gone off like lightning. Erm is pretty quick as well, but he's already eaten up the stagger, and that is so disappointing. The Olympic champion's quest for world glory is over. Damian Warner is crestfallen. He's on the inside in lane one. His race is run. Meanwhile, Owens to Lerner running really well here. And what a brilliant moment for Ash Baloney to find some form. Lepage is beginning to close him down. Erm is getting tired, but coming back towards the Australian. De Lerner, 45 0 9. Lepage and Maloney and Erm will pick up good points there, but the Puerto Rican can hardly believe that. Absolute tragedy. The Olympic champion and the overall leader goes down on the back straight. Damian Warner, I don't know if it was a cramp, a pulled muscle. He seems to be walking okay right now, so my guess is it just was a momentary cramp and the absolute worst time for it to come. Brian, to your right. Good points from Lepage. Zemek in third, Garland fourth, Maloney not far away, so too Mayer, the world record holder. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the penultimate the action on the penultimate night. It's the final of the women's 4x100 metre relay. They're cleanly away, and what a roar from the crowd. The United States are in three, but the big guns are waiting for the baton down the back straight. Oh, it's a terrible changeover, by the way, from Nelson to Thompson Herra. I hope they were within the changeover line. Steiner running well round that bend. And now comes Prandini. Prandini is ahead. Oh, Great Britain, it looks like she's pulled her hamstring, Dina Asher-Smith. The Americans are up. Sharika Jackson's got a lot of closing to do here. Listen to the crowd. TT Terry. Can she hold off Jackson? Yes, she can. The Americans take it from Jamaica. And the Germans, with disbelief, look like they may have come through for third. Something happened to Dina Asher-Smith round that second bend, so the Britons were out of it. There was a really late changeover between Nelson and Thompson Herra down the back straight. 
and TT Terry ignites this crowd. The USA take glory. They deny an incredible quartet from Jamaica, yet another gold. And the Germans were into raptures taking the bronze, denying Nigeria, despite the fact that they produced an African record in fourth.